Um, she was just an inspirational um, person, um, her, her, a role model really to everybody that had the privilege uh, to work with her and to know her. Um, I always remember Wendy as somebody who uh, could laugh so hard that she cried. Um, she was just a wonderful, inspirational um, sportswoman who played at, um, herself at international level. Uh, she was passionate about netball. Uh, the influence that she's had on Welsh netball um, is still there today. Welsh netball is where it is because of Wendy White. I think the, the biggest piece of advice she gave to me, and this was through my highs and lows of netball, and because you know I haven't always been successful in being selected in whichever. And I particularly remember a point in 2006 that I wasn't selected for the 2007 World Cup team, and. She just said to me, make sure you continue to enjoy your netball and, and work hard and, um, and if you want it enough, you'll kind of come back into this team, um, which provided me a sense of motivation. Um, and actually, probably that was a turning point for me in my netball career, but not just on the court, off the court as well for me as an individual. And I think um, I'll take that through life and, and hopefully I'm already starting to pass those, some of those messages that um, Wendy has given to me to my fellow teammates and uh, the influences that I have on, um, on the team that I coach. So she knew how to win and she knew what she needed to do. So at international level, some would describe her as being actually quite ruthless. Um, and I, I've been on the end of, of uh, you know, being in a, a chosen seven, and not in that chosen seven, but a member of a squad of 12. Wendy really did her homework. She was passionate about data, even back then, you know, when performance analysis didn't really exist. Um, Wendy would, would constantly uh, look at the opposition and as a result of that she has to be described as Welsh Netball's most successful ever coach. Um, I've got to say, uh, you know, the, the biggest achievement has to be our placing in a World Championship, the World Championships in Trinidad and Tobago in 1979, where we placed fifth in the world, which was just outstanding. And I know for Wendy, um, the, the opportunity to take on an England side um, in the south of England and actually beat them. She was the first ever Welsh cut netball coach uh, that put a side out and beat England on their turf. She knew we were going to do that. She had the champagne in her bag. Um, and for, a, for somebody who never drank, uh, she, she knew. She knew she had put the strategy together to enable us to win. And we went by five goals. It was a fantastic game. Um, and the, you know, it, we'd, the players did that for Wendy. So special to see Wendy inducted into the Welsh Sports Hall of Fame. Um, she worked tireless, tirelessly um, with netball, and like I said, it wasn't just netball that um, netball players that she inspired, and it wasn't just players in Wales. It was players across the world she worked with, um, really kind of leaving a fantastic legacy. So for us to see her recognised. Um, it's just massive and um, really humbling. Um, she was a fantastic lady who I don't think even she would have realised how much um, inspiration she had and, and influence um, on the team and on the players and on the management from her just being there. Wendy is a legend of Welsh, Welsh sport. She will be always be remembered uh, for the work that she's done for netball in Wales, but for me she has influenced, influenced greatly Welsh sport um, over many, many decades. Um, I know that everybody that knows Wendy, um, including her family, um, fellow netballers, and indeed sportsmen and women in Wales will be absolutely delighted that she's been recognised this evening.